One of the most impactful quotes that have changed how I see things was if you can change your mind, you can change your life. Many people, including you and I, have heard this quote more than once. Before I came to understand it, I've probably heard it over a dozen times. But you see, I missed the message within the quote. Finally, a close friend of mine mentioned the quote. But he said it in a much different way, a way that not only got my attention, but it gave me a very clear understanding of the meaning. He went on to explain that we all live within the confinements of our minds. If we constantly focus on the things that are going wrong in our lives, nothing will get better. Our ability to gain a clear perspective on what we are going through will serve to be a large factor in determining the outcome of the situation. That got me thinking about the one physical world and how we are all a part of it. But in truth, we all live in different worlds created by our minds. This is why we all react to experiences in such different ways. Even if all of us at the same time were to face major challenges in our lives, we would all react in very different ways. Some would simply give up, not realizing that true growth takes place in hard times. Others, however, would use this difficulty as a way to promote their growth and understanding of themselves and their world. You see, your mind is either your greatest ally or your worst enemy. When you limit yourself, you are letting your mind bind you and halt your growth. Most of the world experiences this through fear. We all know what fear is, but the actual definition gives us insight we'd otherwise miss. It's defined as an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. The word we want to focus on is emotion, also known as feelings. Many people, including myself just a year ago, allow their volatile emotions to guide their lives. Relying solely on your emotions to run your life will bring you to an unwanted destination. The key to being your emotions is not to ignore them, it's actually quite the opposite. The secret to having clarity and control is to focus directly on the things or the people causing negative emotions. Shine the spotlight on that which is fueling the problem. Simply recognize whatever you are feeling and notice the gap between you and the feeling. When your mind becomes clear and your fears are recognized as an illusion, that is when you will gain full control of your life. Whether it's money, power, a new car, a great body, brand new house, really any level of success you can think of, it will not help you here. For the answer to fear and the answer to a foggy mind is all found within the true world you live in. The world of your mind.